Hello, my name is Malaya Vilas, and this is my video essay. It is based on Aristotle's Guide to Happiness, or How to Lead a Good Life. For the dawn of time, happiness has been something that we were always trying to chase as human beings. Humans view happiness as the gateway to having all of their problems solved. Or if they think if they get to this certain financial standpoint, then I'll be happy. Or if, if I make this amount of money, then I'll be happy. Once people reach these points in their life when they do make a lot of money or when they do have a husband or a wife or kid you know or they have kids guess what they're not happy because they were constantly seeking happiness they didn't know that this idea of happiness is right in front of them they kept on digging that hole and the deeper they dug the emptier they felt inside and that's because happiness isn't something you search for happiness comes from within happiness isn't an end point Happiness is not a timeline or this long journey we go to to lay the dragon and then we'll be happy. I believe happiness is a choice that, hey, I have some amazing things going on in my life right now. I'm alive and, oh look, I made it to live another great sunny day. Happiness is about practicing gratitude and it's about being happy just in the place where you're at right now. It's about being in the present moment. It's not something you search for and you hope that you have in the future. People don't go on scavenger hunts or an Easter egg hunt to find that egg of happiness. Where were the origins of these ideas? We stumble upon the Greek philosopher Aristotle who lived in the 4th century. That's a, that was a long time ago. Aristotle had an idea that was rooted within his ethics that the goal of the human life is happiness. According to Aristotle, the goal of the human life is to reach happiness or what Aristotle stated as eudaimia. Well, the root eu means good, while demina means fulfillment. When it comes to the Greek philosopher Aristotle, happiness did not equal wealth, pleasure, or fame. Aristotle saw happiness as rather a state of mind. Aristotle saw the wealthy elite people that were around him and he saw that no matter how much money they had or fame or pleasure they had, he saw that these elite nobles were miserable within their lives. Aristotle had seen that these wealthy nobles were seeking material possessions and constant gratification. And even after that, he saw that they were miserable and they were not happy not true happiness. The philosopher Aristotle emphasizes how achieving true and real happiness comes from the continuous action of becoming oneself or what we can call self-improvement. Aristotle stresses how it's important to know oneself within. To conclude, Aristotle's ideas of happiness were number one, self-improvement, and number two, having a balance within your life. So this balance includes your emotions, your health, and your mental wellness. I believe as humans, if we watched over these things, then we could have a more content feeling of happiness. So Aristotle defines as not happiness is when we are not achieving anything, We're not contributing to our true and virtuous actions. Happiness is a choice we make every single day within our decisions. Whether to contribute to your happiness or not, that is up to you. That's your decision. Inside, you know what your goals and aspirations are. 
I believe true happiness is looking inside yourself and seeing what you love the most. It's about staying true to yourself and your core values and not to let anyone else influence how you should live your life. What makes me happy might not make you happy. Happiness is a self-made recipe for looking inside and seeing what you're passionate about most. Many people didn't wake up today, but guess who did? You. You have another opportunity for another chance at life. Don't take it for granted. Enjoy every moment like it's your last and pursue your dreams and passions. In conclusion, happiness isn't an end destination we are our to achieve. Happiness is a decision to live life on our terms and not to let other people determine what you will do in your life. You are the seeker of your own happiness. I am not a person with all the answers to life. I'm just making my own depictions of happiness that I have experienced within my lifetime so far and have studied.